Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is Let's Play World of Diving, and thank you for watching. World of Diving is a shocker, a diving simulator, guys. But unlike some other simulator games that have you doing dull chores like running airports or riding in circles in a national park, World of Diving gives you beautiful underworld habitats to explore and play around and see gorgeous underwater wildlife. It released on Steam Early Access August 2014, which, of course, means that the game is still being actively developed, guys. Which, of course, also means that everything you see is subject to change and not a final representation of the game. So relax and take everything I say with a grain of sea salt. See what I did there? World of Diving is being developed and published by Vertigo Games, which is not to be confused with Vertigo Gaming. Uh, the people who made Cook, Serve, Delicious, Vertical Games, mostly lends out its services to other companies in development. They have developed a few titles for themselves here and there uh, in association with other companies. You can go ahead and buy into World of Diving Early Access right now on Steam for $19.99. Now, guys, there's a lot of things I love about World of Diving. Uh, but one of two things is going to happen when you play this game. You're going to have a calm, serene, relaxing time playing this game, enjoying all the well-detailed environments and enjoying the vast ocean. And you see all the wild creatures, the, the, the fish and the manta rays, and it's all just gorgeous. Or if you're like me, it makes you want to leave your house immediately and go to the friggin' beach. Um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because that I think that's it gives a compliment to the game because it really does a good job of simulating the ocean, guys. It makes you want to be at the beach so freaking badly because it makes me just it does a really good job of visualizing it, making you feel like you're there, but at the same time, of course, you're not smelling the ocean, you're not feeling the sand between your toes, and that's kind of what I miss about that kind of thing. But if you can't afford to go diving, you can't buy equipment, you don't have a boat, you know, or you're like me and you live in the freaking desert 50 miles away from the beach, or it's really far either way, then this is a wonderful replacement for that. So let's first off let's talk about the settings here, because one of the major things is here is the visuals. I mean, everything's going to be visually stimulating in this game. That's kind of one of the selling points of the game is that it's a beautiful, vast, gorgeous ocean to explore. And you can see all of the different kinds of... Um, graphics manipulations and uh, resolution controls. Uh, there probably could be more here, but I'm not going to hold this against them as it is an early, you know, early access title, guys. I'm sure they'll probably add a hell of a lot more to this area, probably. I, I could be talking out my ass there, uh, but I would just think with, you know, it being kind of a graphic-based game that they're going to try to add as much graphical detail and push that to the limit as possible. So in this game, like I said, you're kind of just exploring. You're basically, you're, the entire point of the game, there's no explosions, there's no, you know, let's fight a shark. There, well, there's sharks, but you're not going to fight the shark. The entire purpose of the game is just, just explore, relax, and kind of just have like a weird, calming uh, gameplay time. You can also play with other players. As you can see right here, there's currently six boards for you to enjoy total. Uh, one of them is kind of like a tutorial area, so it's a one plus one tutorial, which also, well, you can't explore the tutorial, but uh, six ports total uh, with three more on the way. And the reason that you might think, oh, that's kind of a small number of boards. Well, it's not because all these boards are huge and they are all detailed. There's coral and fish and they have really gone into extreme amounts of detail in all of these boards. So while, it, yes, six boards may seem like a low number, or even nine even, but these boards are huge. And you're free to completely explore them at whatever pace you want, and just kind of swim around and enjoy it all. I'm going to start at the diving base. Uh, this basically asks you what you kind of board you want, of kind of game you want to make. Because you can't play this game with other players. Matter of fact, I was kind of encouraged to. I mean, may check out the multiplayer. I had a little bit of issues with it earlier. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll try it out. Uh, but it'll probably be like the last thing we do because I don't want the game to freeze. Uh, but yeah, you can basically choose to have your 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 game either be public or single player. For now, I'm just going to do a single player game. I don't want anybody else joining in on me. Another thing I like about this game is that they kind of, during the development, they give you kind of an option to vote on what it is they're working on. For instance, I vote, voted for in-game chat. I don't know why. I just did. I just clicked on it. And they're currently working on um, interaction with the wildlife. Uh, because right now all you can really do is just look at them and see them swim by or I imagine they may like, I don't know, do cool stuff. You can like grab onto the fin and swim along. I'm not really sure, uh, what fish interaction means. I imagine it's not going to be anything violent. 
Um, but it'll be something that you can probably do to interact with them in some way. So another huge thing about this game is customization. You can completely customize your diver. I'm sure you're confused what the hell you're looking at. Why is my diver a green chick? Well, uh, maybe I watch too much Star Trek or maybe I just like the Hulk. Um, but they basically like to kind of customize your character. I decided to make a green lady, but you can make her just about any color you want here. You can make her blue. Oh my, she looks like Mystique now. Uh, or you know, you can change the color to pretty much whatever color you want. I decided green because I thought it would be something uh, interesting and unique looking. Uh, and there's, like I said, there's a lot of uh, customization here for you to enjoy and mess around with. There's a lot of things that they're adding to this game, like boats. Uh, islands you can customize like for instance well this is just I'm actually you know, I think this might be I'm not sure if this is our base or not it says base but I'm not sure if this is what they're talking about when they say islands you can purchase things like your, you know, your own customizable island and hang out there you can buy boats for you to have you can uh, get new tools but all that stuff is of course being you know still developed we can't really kind of get a peek at that stuff yet because it's not in the game unfortunately but there is other stuff to enjoy here you can pretty much alter everything you almost see on this character you can somehow pretty much alter from the tank to the goggles the freaking flippers the gloves the rest the respirator the regulator i guess it's not a respirator the regulator um, scuba self-contained underwater breathing apparatus sorry I just had to remember that I had to say that out loud because I remember being taught that a long time ago uh, yeah that's basically you can change that of course there's a limited number right now because they're adding more and more to the game uh, I don't even know what the hell a basic BCD is I'm guessing it's some sort of canister holder thingy I've never been diving if you can't gather I've ever in my entire life and I want to now though this game made me want to go diving which is another huge compliment to the game uh so yeah of course you can also you know put your diver in bikinis and other clothing and change the color of all that there's a lot of customization features i'm sure you're confused as to what the hell this stuff is up on top here what is this uh buy pearls what is it what is this gold looking stuff well yes you will be buying into the game and that will give you a access to all of the game's features but if you want and you have some extra cash laying around, you can buy pearls and make microtransactions to just go ahead and buy uh, these items. Now, remember, all these items are cosmetic. None of these items really affect gameplay. They don't really do anything. I, I kind of want to stress that. Is that a Star Trek uniform? Or, oh my god, that is so freaking awesome. They put a Star Trek uniform in there. Hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make it red. Wait, what? No, 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 go back. Put it on. Put it on. Ah, oh, I can't even, I can't preview it? Oh, that sucks. Okay, okay. Well, that's one thing I would suggest. Give me a preview button. I want to see her in my Star Trek outfit. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, none of these items really affect anything. They're just all aesthetics. The, 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 uh, the tools, the flippers, the regulators, all that stuff is just for visuals. Remember, this game is just about relaxing and having fun. It's not about, you know, oh, I have Uber Elite Island. I have the best boat in the game, noob. No, it's just about... Just, you know, relaxing. So they have that microtransaction feature there, but again, it doesn't affect anything. So don't stress out over that. I know some people look at microtransactions and call them evil. And, you know, most of the time I would say that they're right. But um, for this case, it's just for looks, guys. It's just for you to make, like, whatever kind of diver you want. I can't hold that against them. Plus, in the game itself, there's ways to even earn these items outside of the microtransactions. You can see everything kind of has, like, a gold doubloon amount for, oh, my God. Wait, why is that preview, but the other diving suit didn't? What, the, what? What is that crap? Hold on. I want to see something. Hold on. Put it on! Oh, okay, there we go. Ha ha! Alright! Okay, so I did preview it that time. I don't know why I didn't last time. That's awesome. Amazing! Okay. Uh, as you can see, there's kind of like these things called gold doubloons, and basically these are uh, in-game currency that you can find hidden throughout the boards that allow you to just kind of collect them. As you can see, some of them are obviously very pricey. For instance, this awesome Bioshock helmet, or diving helmet, uh, is worth 200 doubloons. I only found one in the entire game. I've been playing the game for about an hour, though, and I've been kind of just, kind of just cruising through the levels. I've been looking for doubloons uh, really all that much. Uh, there is like a thing they're making called a metal detector. It's one of the tools, but we'll get into more of that. Okay, so I think we pretty much covered the uh, the customization really quick. So we're going to go ahead and dive. Uh, the game is played through, obviously, kind of like a first-person perspective right here. This is just, this is kind of the tutorial area um, that literally teaches you how to play the game, where things are. Uh, and the game you can, does have controller support. 
Um, I think it's mostly through the Xbox 360 controller. I'm using my keyboard and mouse because I just find it a little bit more convenient, more easy to use. Um, so right now this is just a little controlled environment. There is several things we can do here. There is like, I guess you could say tools almost. We have our camera, we have our scuba scooter, which allows us to kind of travel a lot, around a lot faster. Cause you can see, cause we're we can swim around uh, and we're moving at speeds, but with the scuba scooter, we can just kind of just cruise you know, really fast through objects. And the scuba scooter kind of like has this feature that you can kind of hit R and it starts going like really fast and it starts draining that meter on the top there. Um, we also have our little computer compass thing, which basically tells us where objects are on how to get to them. For instance, a challenge marker, the pool exit. Uh, again, this is just a tutorial area, so there really isn't any missions in this game. There is missions, I mean missions in this board, I should say. Now, there is missions in this game, obviously. Uh, maybe if I go over here, this is kind of like the community uh, mission thing. You can access the missions through these tanks, by the way. Like that one right there is a community one. The yellow tanks are pre-generated ones. Um, and it, this game does allow you to make your own missions too, basically. It, it, right now it's obviously very simplistic. Like I played a user-created mission in one of the boards where I had to collect, uh, find three hidden ducks. They're not really super complicated. They're not meant to like be like, you know, a ah, rage filled tastic. You could just follow your, your little computer to where all of the items are. They're just meant to be entertaining. They're supposed to be more of another aspect to the game for you to enjoy and take pleasure. And you can create your own missions. So let's go over here. Let's hit E and this will show me the most recently created missions. Okay, so let's go recent and will show me uh, too much stuff. The Smuggler's Cave, A Serpent's Tale. Let's go with Minesweeper. All right. Blue area tanks are scattered throughout the area, are used to play missions created by the community. Okay, I got that. Find the butterfly fishes in four minutes. Okay. So we got four minutes. There is... All right, so if I approach these, they explode. Ah, they don't explode. Again, <laughs> game's more about just relaxing, guys. Uh, did I walk away from it? Where is it? It's at 17 feet. Objective is at 17 feet. We should be able to see it. There it is. Ha-ha! <laughs> All right, so we'll take a picture of it. That's how you kind of accomplish your goals, by the way. You take pictures of stuff. Okay. Now we are uh, headed this way, I guess. Right? And it's also at 17 feet. No, I'm going down, 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 down. Head down, you fool. Down. Where is it? He's at 17 feet. I don't see him. There he is. Ha ha. Let's take a picture of him. I got you. All right. One more. Two more, I mean. This one's at 15 feet, which is right here. And we should be able to see him. Where is he? Where is that little bastard? Fishy. Fishy. No, you're not the fish I'm looking for. You're not the fish I'm looking for, sir. He's right there. Where is he? I don't see him. Uh, I'm just taking pictures. No, get back to my camera. Okay, hold on. I don't see him. Where is he? It says he's right here in front of me. Where in front of me is he, this little guy? I don't see him. Do you guys see him? I'm waiting. Oh, there he is. Ha ha. Oh, you little sneaky fishy. Oh, jeez. Okay. And now the last fish, which we still have quite a little while to get done here, is at 17 feet. Oh, we got to dive a little bit for this one. Okay, so he's somewhere around here. He's right there. He's right below us. Let's right, swim down. We'll swim down and then we'll look up and see where he's at. Okay, so he's somewhere over here. This one's definitely one of the more challenging missions, I will admit. Where are you, you little fish? Ah, uh, I don't see you. You are very well hidden, fishy fish. Oh, there you are. I got you. I got you. Oh, yes, I've ca I did the mission, guys. Once you complete a mission, really there's no reward for it. Again, it's just meant there to be kind of just as extra fun challenges, guys. Uh, I'm, whoa, okay, so this continues. Okay. Well, I actually don't want to do this anymore, so uh, is there a way to drop out of these missions? I guess I could just not do them. Is there a way to just ignore the missions? Is there? No? Maybe? I'm not sure. 
But as you can see, it's just beautiful, gorgeous environments. The sound effects are really... I, I, wouldn't, I don't know if they're authentic, obviously, because I've never been diving, but they sound authentic. They sound really cool. All the environments, the rocks are just really detailed with the corals and the fish. and It's just all very awesome looking, guys. And you're pretty much free to explore whatever way you wish. So like, I'm just going to go over here, for instance. I'm just going to start going in one basic direction. Uh, and like I said, there's different you know wildlife per board. It's not always the same thing per board. I, just, I really enjoy this. I enjoy the... The visuals are very awesome. The way the shadows blend off of things. The way things weave in the water. Oh, look at that! What is that? I didn't even know that was there. I haven't gone this way. Okay, let's go over there. Jesus, is that you? Hello, strange statue. I do believe that is... I don't know who that is. But it doesn't matter. He has a little clammy at his feet. Can we open the clam? I want to open the clam. We can open some clams. I can't approach that object, though, for some reason. But that was, yeah, you could just get the idea. It's kind of focused on exploration, guys. Um, and just kind of having, you know, goofing around, finding some missions. There's some pre-built missions into the boards. You can do player missions. You can create your own missions. Like, for instance, like I was doing just now. I don't want to turn back. Shh. What if I, what if I want to go where I want to go? You were leaving the air, swimming area. Turn back. Never. Never. What's going on? Oh my god, we've gone into hell! It's a stop. I just. St oh my god. Okay, when you go too far, though, I guess you. You end, end up descending into hell. <laughs> so I guess there is, like, a somewhat of a limit to the, ed to the side, to the edges of the boards here. But I think you get the idea. I mean, it's pretty freaking huge. I mean, this is nothing to. You know, shake a stick at it, and it's all detailed. It's all, you know, been gone over, and we'll probably go be gone over again and again with more details to be added to the game itself. Um, so, yeah, if, if you can find those gold doubloons, by the way. I forgot to I keep forgetting to mention the gold doubloons. The gold doubloons can be just hidden throughout the environment, which is another thing you kind of just want to keep your eye out for. You just want to look around. You know, I bet there's a gold doubloon on that gold statue. I'm not sure if we can find a gold doubloon because we're currently in the middle of a mission. Let's find out. With a little bit of money, there is a gold doubloon near this statue. If we could find one. Um, if not, it's probably because we're on a mission. We'll see what happens when the mission ends. Or maybe we'll just find one. Maybe we'll spot one and then I'll be teleported somewhere. Okay, that's fine. I failed. Okay, that's fine by me. Oh, okay, so it does teleport you back. That's okay, though, because we can just grab our thing here. That doesn't sound right. Grab our thing here and head back out. Um, and see if you can find that uh, more gold doubloons. Just look around at the board itself. And there's a lot of different kinds of boards. There's like one that has like a submarine on it, guys. There's one that has like a, a pirate ship. It's all really cool stuff here, guys. And one of the really neat things is that you can play this game with your friends. Oh, I forgot to mention there's also like uh, uh, like signs. You can be like, hey, yo, no, or point, which is one of my favorites. Point. Point what points one of my favorites because you can just hold the button down and the, it should just kind of get stuck doing that, which is hilarious in multiplayer because you can just point into people's faces forever. Look at all that fish! Look at that! How cool is that? There's some balloons over there. I don't even know what the hell's over there. We're gonna go ahead and grab, we're gonna head back towards that statue. Gosh dang, I want to see if there's a gold balloon over there. Um, and I don't, I think the gold balloons probably regenerate, um, or they kind of change places from day to day because the game does have a little bit of like a login thing you need to kind of register yourself before you can play the game because there's daily missions also they basically outload up a daily mission every day for you to play uh and you know again that doesn't I, I i'm not sure if there's any reward for it there may be a reward for it in the future i think that would be something that'd be kind of cool if they at least gave you some gold doubloons for doing the daily missions i think it'd be something that encourages players to do the daily missions for that matter okay so here we are a little bit of money. Somewhere around here. There's a gold doubloon. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm totally wrong, aren't I? Totally wrong. Okay, well. They will be coming out with a metal detector that will help you find uh, gold doubloons, obviously. Ooh, I thought that was one right there. Um, that will help you find gold doubloons eventually. 
and help you unlock all those other kind of cool, interesting items. Obviously, that's going to be taking a while to get done because, you know, there's, you know, some of the items are pretty expensive. The minimum price I think I saw for pretty much any item is either 50 or 100 uh, of the items. But again, that's because it's all aesthetics. It's for, you know, just visual enjoyment. Um, you can, of course, go out of the water, by the way, if you're curious. And you can see my diving base nowhere because I guess I left it. It's somewhere over there. Let's see. It's somewhere around here. I don't remember where the hell it is. I am kind of lost. I have to use my compass to find it again. Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of the gist of how the game pretty much works. Um, there's missions. There's different boards. A lot of stuff for you to enjoy. There's the mission editor for you to enjoy here, guys. The doubloons. Oh, I forgot to mention the game, of course, does feature Oculus Rift support which is really freaking sweet. If you have the Oculus Rift, you can play this game and probably get a full visualization of the vast, beautiful ocean that these guys have created, guys. Um, the only thing I did kind of find lacking, and I guess that's probably because they wanted to make it authentic as possible, is music. I don't know. I, I, I guess because I have a Bioshock thing in my head, I feel like, hey, it would be cool to have like some... Uh, you know, instrumental music when you come over a ridge and see a beautiful boat. I'm not sure. That's just a personal thing. I get that they were going to go for as realistic as possible, and that is kind of indicative with the uh, simulation genre, guys. There is also steamy goodness for you to enjoy here. Uh, let's go ahead and just we'll hop into another board. Uh, I'm not going to do the multiplayer, guys. Even though there's some boards here. Uh, it's just because sometimes it gets frozen. I'd rather show off another board uh, than... Um, then, you know, risk freezing my game up here, guys. Uh, because, you know, I, I want to show you the game off. You can do the multiplayer for your stuff for yourself. And I have done some of the multiplayer stuff. And it's kind of fun and hilarious. We're kind of, you know, signaling to each other. Doing silly stuff like dancing. Uh, you can dance, by the way. Like that. Which is hilarious looking. This sport, I've never been to this board. So I'm just kind of just going to just kind of swim around. Just see what I can find. Uh, but yeah, you have the Oculus Rift support, you have all the Steam achievements, uh, Steam cards, all that good kind of stuff, guys. And they are adding more to the game, obviously. Uh, like, you know, more boards, um, more features to be added to the game. Um, and that's all coming eventually, uh, sooner or later. Because, of course, remember this game is in early access, guys. So just, you know, relax, chill out. Look how freaking awesome that is, guys. I don't know how detailed the fish are. They look pretty detailed to me, though. I love to be able to, like, capture one and put it in, like, in a jar so I can look at it. You know, I could theoretically just take a picture of one. It looks like there's some gold lights over there, so we'll go over there really quickly uh, and check out what's over here. I'll go ahead and hit my boost. Help me give me a little faster over there. Oh! It's a dolphin, guys! It's a freaking dolphin! Oh, look at that. It's a crashed... Um, looks like plane, World War II plane, maybe? I'm not really sure. Looks pretty freaking cool. And there's missions around it, which we can, of course, do. Basically, it'll probably have us take pictures of something or look for some particular object. <laughs> Hello. Ah, all right. See, I told you it was gold to balloons. I'm not crazy. See? All right. So there we go. We got something out of the exploration here. And that's been added to my total... Oh, there we go. There's another one. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So maybe they're not as hard to earn as I thought they'd be. Looks like there's 20 total per board for you to enjoy here. Uh, dolphins. Are those dolphins? What are those? I have no idea. I'm not a very good aquatic life person. I I own a fish tank, but my wife's the uh, aquatic person in our relationship. I know that's a dolphin. I've seen those at the MGM. Those are pretty cool looking. And I think they're all, it's just, it's a really cool looking game, guys. It's beautiful. It sounds cool. You can have green skin, guys. It's, need I say more? So I think that's a pretty, pretty good idea of what World of Diving is, guys. It's not your typical game. Uh, there's some interesting ideas here. And I think there's fun to be had. Um, you know, depending on what it is you're looking for. Uh, the missions are cute and entertaining and the exploration is very well done here. Uh, I think any fan of simulator games will have, you know, a lot of fun with this game. That's not to say that... I don't think anybody who, you know, any normal person can not enjoy this game. I think it's just a very different style of game from your normal gaming experience. And that may throw off some people. 
I think once more is added to the game and adds a little bit more diversity of things you could do in the game itself, then it will be easier to kind of, you know, get into and digest like adding races, you know, or underwater laser tag. I don't know. I'm just talking out my ass there. Uh, because it is an early access game, there is some bugs to be mentioned, of course. You will run into that, so expect that. And keep that in mind with your purchase. Uh, there's lots of replayability here, just exploring. You, know, you can join all the boards. There's different missions. There's daily missions. There's different. Like, there's things like that. Uh, I don't know. I think there, if, if there's the total will be nine boards. I imagine they'll probably add more. You can maybe buy some more in the DLC. If there is going to be all the DLC, I'm not 100% sure about that stuff, guys. But that is the beautiful part of, you know, of, you know, early access is that you can contribute to the game. Guys, give them your ideas and thoughts and they may add it to the game, guys. Uh, by the way, the, the racing laser tag thing, that was all just me talking out my ass. I don't know if they're putting that in the game. It'd be cool if they did, though. Uh, but otherwise, you know, big thanks to the developer for a chance to preview this game, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and share as it really helps me out. And I'll keep bringing you awesome games, guys. Till next time. Play more indie games.